so yesterday we decided would be as good a day as ever to make these Halloween Funfetti cupcakes that we have been just kind of holding on to and waiting for the perfect moment. I guess the time is now. I feel like we end up making these every year either in the form of a cake or cupcakes, but it never ceases to be one of Violet's favorite activities to do. And with our stand mixer now newly unpacked and all ready to go, why not get this done and under our belts and into our bellies? Even though I'm personally not sure how I ever feel about the color orange when it comes to food, but it is kind of a fun frosting, so let's just see how this goes. I really like that the box had its own conversions for what type of egg substitutes you should use because that's actually really helpful for me as someone who doesn't use eggs while baking anymore. Believe it or not, I feel like I get softer pastries and cakes when I use applesauce over eggs, so that's why we kind of sort of continue to use it. I just like things to taste, you know, soft. And I feel like with eggs, sometimes it just doesn't come out with the same consistency that you know you can expect from using something like applesauce. But I digress. As you can see, my sous chef was busy preparing everything herself with the tiniest of help from me. And I'm not sure how close of attention you're paying to her arm, but do you see the little tattoos that she drew? So cute. Right before we started this baking, she came up to me and said, Look, mommy, I drew a teacup on my arm just like you. It's gonna stay there until I take a bath. And then I offered for her to make cupcakes and she accidentally washed it off, but she's getting so good at drawing little tattoos on her body. I don't even want to stop the creativity because it's absolutely adorable. And who knows, maybe she'll be a doctor, firefighter, pastry chef, baker tattoo artist someday. The possibilities are literally endless, and as wide and bountiful as her creativity is plentiful. abandoned it turns out I did not in fact get abandoned she just had to go do a quick little tattoo touch-up and then take a quick sip of her bat juice and come right back to continue to watch the mixer mix and blend until it was time for her favorite part which isn't even putting the cupcakes in the tin believe it or not do you want to guess what it is Did you catch that? Did you see how easy the batter came out of the measuring cup? Well, I don't know if you guys know this little hack, but sometimes if you're using oil in your recipe and you save the measuring cup that had the oil in it for later, you can use it just like this to transfer your batter from bowl to pan with ease because the oil is literally gonna make that batter plop right out. I mean, just watch, watch. I'm glad you like it. See how clean 
clean that is. Just a quick fun little life hack for you there if you like making messes in the kitchen. But yes, Violet's favorite part is unapologetically licking the batter. You know, when I was her age, I remember batter being so fun to try and taste. Probably more so than I liked some of the baked goods, if we're being honest. But I don't have to feel guilty or worried about her doing that because, you know, there's no egg product in this, so the risk of salmonella is minimal. And as far as the untreated flour goes, well, you know, you gotta take some risks in this life. So with our batter all locked and loaded in its tins, and the oven preheated to 350 degrees, it's time to pop these bad boys in and get to the real good part of making cupcakes. Bake them and then frost them. I think letting these muffins cool is one of the most annoying parts of baking cupcakes or cakes or anything baked for that matter because the second it's out of the oven and it's all nice and warm and toasty and smelling perfectly delicious, I just want to eat it. But we're going to take some time and do this correctly and let them cool down so that way the frosting doesn't melt off of them. And for those of you with ants in your pants like myself, we do have to remember that the last five minutes where it's cooling in the tins and the pans, it's still technically cooking. So it's not done yet. Just let it be finished and you can enjoy it when it's perfect. But they'll just pop right out of the muffin tin like this and you can throw them to your toddler and she will happily decorate them. The box says that it yields about 19 to 24 cupcakes, and that proved to be somewhat accurate for us. I think we made close to about 19, maybe. At first, Violet wanted to do everything herself, but after having a little bit of trouble with the frosting, she asked me if I could do the frosting parts for her, and she would take it from there, which I was more than happy to oblige. I gave her a whole bunch of different sprinkles that we had been, I guess, hoarding around the house for a while for special occasions. And those included these really cool Day of the Dead sugar skull looking guys and Day of the Dead themed um, color nonpareils. I believe that's what they're called technically, but as far as she knows, they're sprinkles and sprinkles are the best thing. <laughs> We also saved some of these unicorn horns from some of her previous cupcakes she got at a local bakery. So she's going to be making some Halloween unicorns as well. I really try to make it a point when we're doing activities like this to allow her to use her creative freedom and not use picture references. 
allow these ideas to come from your mind and figure out how you can make them happen in reality. I think that's probably the best way to keep fueling creativity with kids. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with following patterns or instructions, but there's a time and place for everything, I suppose. And I guess what I'm just trying to say here is that the time and place for reading and following instructions in this activity has already passed, so have free reign and have fun with decorating. Well, we hope however you plan to celebrate Halloween, you are safe and have fun while doing so. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.